Hey guys, been a while. Um, I want to show you my preferred method of viewing KCLs or courses, whether it be custom tracks or official Nintendo tracks. Um, this is very helpful for getting uh, reference as well as flag IDs for specific portions that you want to find out about, or just sort of figuring out how a creator did a specific thing. Um, so prerequisites you're going to need is that you need Weems tools, uh, any advanced text editor, which I'm going to be using Notepad++, uh, as well as any 3D modeler. I'm going to be using Blender because I think it's the easiest way to uh, view these KCL models. So the first thing you need to do is get an SCS for the course you want to view. And in the directory of that course, open a new command window and use the following two commands. WKCLT decode and then the name of your course. The other command is WKCLT CFF, the name of your course. This is going to give you a flag file which will list every single KCL flag that is used um, within the course. It's very helpful. Uh, the other command will give you an OBJ which uh, represents that KCL model. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open Blender. Um, first thing we do is close this welcome screen and in the sort of new file uh, we're going to press delete and then press delete. Um, so we're left with something blank. So then we go file, import, obj, and find the obj that you just made with that command. Double click it. Now you may notice there's nothing here. Uh, what you need to do in Blender is press S. You'll see a little scale icon appear in the bottom left. Uh, and then you need to do 0 0.001. Press enter and your course model will appear. The easiest way to look around in Blender is by holding down shift and pressing F. This will give you a free camera mode. You can use the WASD keys to move and hold shift to go fast. And you can look around to your heart's content. Um, and then once you find a flag or an, I guess a face or material that you wish to uh, look at, uh, if you right click it, for example I chose this pink, and look in the bottom left of Blender's interface, you'll see the name of the exact flag. You can use this uh, as a material name in your, I suppose, 3D modeling software, and it will, and Weems tools, when you convert um, a file to uh, a KCL, will recognize that flag. Uh, if you have another method, such as using a flag file itself, um, you can open the flag file you made and match up this value with the one found here. Uh, here it is, and you can get the exact ID uh, and all the information you'll need uh, to make your own, essentially. That is my method of looking at uh, courses and their KCLs. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Adios.